a special punching press starts rattling. The heavy plungers hammer into the metal 800 times per second. The result? An elaborately perforated metal strip. These jags are stamped by the machine in a fraction of a second. They look like randomly jagged lightning flashes, and yet they were created according to a very exact and ingenious principle. These jags are supposed to fit in eyelets of their counterparts and interlock firmly until they are again detached. Just like the well-known synthetic hook and loop fastener, since its invention 50 years ago, it has experienced an incredible worldwide triumph. This is where the idea came from, nature. The burr has a remarkable property. The plant has evolved fine hooks on its prickly tips. They cling to the fur of animals, for instance, when they pass by. These then take the entire flower head with them, along with any seeds. The burr then falls off somewhere else. That is how they spread, an astute trick of nature. Replicated by engineers, the microscope reveals how the hooks engage. For a firm connection of a synthetic hook and loop fastener, it is enough for only 30% of the hooks to randomly engage. However, the currently available hook and loop fasteners have some limitations. For example, they do not withstand higher temperatures. An experiment conducted at the Technische University München. Weights are hung from a conventional synthetic hook and loop fastener and from a metallic one. A hot air gun heats both connections. The weights are still hanging. Temperature rises. Both connections are still holding. The conventional hook and loop fastener and the metallic one. But then it happens. One of the weights drops. The synthetic hook and loop fastener has given up. Its hooks have dissolved. Unlike the popular hook and loop fastener we all know, the metallic fastener has the advantage that it is insensitive to aggressive media and that it also functions at high temperatures. One good example is this thermal sheeting for an exhaust system in vehicles. The metallic hook and loop fastener needs to withstand even more extreme ordeals. In the engine bay, near to the engine, the exhaust pipe develops a temperature of up to several hundred degrees. In this experiment, the weights hanging from the metallic hook and loop fastener weigh 10 kilos. The chamber is closed. The heat is turned on. Target temperature 800 degrees Celsius. A hook and loop fastener made of plastic would have melted away long ago, yet the weights are still hanging. The metallic hook and loop connection remains stable even under high temperatures. The engineers invested a lot of time and effort investigating how the hooks need to be formed to provide strong hold on one hand and easy production on the other. We ran simulations for months to realize a flexible mechanism, good detachability without deformation, and that it can be fastened again so as to provide the same possibilities as we have with synthetic hook and loop fasteners. The computer simulates how the metal sheet can be best bent so as to avoid that excessive energy during bending might overstress the metal or even destroy it. The areas exposed to high tension turn red. This tension is what the scientists are trying to avoid, otherwise the stability of the material would suffer. Amazing! The fine hooks can transfer substantial forces, up to 35 tons per square meter of connected surface. This corresponds to a large truck, and nonetheless, these connections can be easily and quickly unfastened without unscrewing, and they can be reused for a nearly unlimited number of times. 
The metal hook and loop fastener has, in our view, vast potential in industrial and probably also private applications, from aircraft and building construction all the way to heating and ventilation systems and medical technology. We are still at the beginning. We can generate great holding strength under high temperatures and exposure to aggressive media. However, there are many possibilities for improvement. These cutting presses can spew out thousands of kilometers of new metallic hook and loop bands, just like the current production of conventional hook and loop fasteners. This example shows even tried and tested technology can be improved.